a report that came out regarding Jimmy Garoppolo and him returning to throwing soon. Mike, I'm going to throw it back to you. I'll pull up the report um, while you're while you're discussing this. But are we finally going to see this trade once he's fully healthy enough to throw? Has that been the thing that's holding this situation up? You know, I, I don't think it's just about the trade. I honestly think, I mean, uh, not about the throwing. I think it's about the throwing and then the team actually having a real need. Uh, the physical obviously is a big part of it, right? I would say like like 75% part of it right but these teams are all well connected they all know what the injury was they know what the surgery was all the teams any team that was going to be interested in Jimmy Garoppolo is going to know what his timetable to return would be so I don't think that really prevented anything from happening I think it kind of was let's not do it now let's see what our other options are now we have we have we have the supply we got to find the demand right now I think that's really what it's going to come down to okay I see that. Um, so here's the report here from Jeremy Fowler of ESPN. This was yesterday morning. He tweeted, San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo remains on schedule and he's recovery from shoulder surgery and timetable for, th for throwing per source. The expectation has been Garoppolo will throw over the next few weeks, early July per Kyle Shanahan, and that plan is still in place. Matt, from a medical perspective, does that timeline sound about right? Are the 49ers rushing anything or is that right on par, would you say? That's where they had it pegged. So it's not surprising to me. Um, they were saying, you know, end of June, early July, that seems like what it's going to be. Um, so I'm, I'm not surprised by this at all. And, you know, it's actually, there's potential here for this timing to work out really well for the 49ers, given other reports. Um, Seattle, is is rumored to be you know really after Baker Mayfield, that would create a spot on the Browns with their messy situation at court quarterback, um, and it could open up Jimmy Garoppolo because of his lessened salary, and the specter of a certain quarterback potentially being suspended indefinitely, where if Jimmy is willing to rework his deal at a year something that would take the browns out of the cap this year or or front load or whatever whatever they need to do right say seattle takes half of baker's contract they have you know some some areas to where they can fit jimmy garoppolo on the roster as a stand-in as a bridge right while their other quarterback serves his suspension and potentially comes back this timing can work out well for the 49ers but it's up to jimmy garoppolo to really show that the shoulder is sound, that he's going to be able to make the fluttering duck throws that he throws anyways, and that he's going to be the same old Jimmy Garoppolo that some people know and only fewer love. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, very well said. But yes, this whole situation has just been brewing perfectly. Mike, what's up? What do you got on your mind? Are the rounds really an option for Jimmy? Like for real, for real? They have Jacoby Brissett. Right, they okay, still okay, but I mean, have, Jimmy's better than Jacoby Brissett, though. That that is true, right? But right. all right, so let me let me all right, let me ask this. Right now, I do like what you said because you were very specific. in if if they keep half of Baker's salary, right? So I understand that's that. part. That's the huge thing. They need somebody to take on some of Baker because Baker's salary is guaranteed. It's his fifth year, so the whole thing's guaranteed. Right, right. and so. If that were to be the case, I, I, Seattle's not hurting for cap space. They got rid of Russell completely. So they have the cap space to take all of Baker's salary and even hey, rework a deal if he's, if that's the place that he's going to land. And you could see the pain in Pete Carroll's eyes when he said, man, Geno Smith is actually ahead in this quarterback <laughs> battle. <laughs> right, and he's no, looking no. at Baker Mayfield going like, dang, maybe we just pay half his salary because Baker is definitely an upgrade over those two. I like right. I know people aren't super high on Baker Mayfield, but he's like a replacement level starter in the NFL where the other two are clearly backups. Yes. So let's just say that happens, right? The Browns now have Brissett. I I don't know exactly what he's making right now. Then they obviously have this massive contract with uh Deshaun Watson. If you're Jimmy, are you going somewhere that you know it's only to serve a purpose during his suspension? I, I don't think his agent even thinks to agree to something like that. If I'm Jimmy, I'd rather be the guy in Seattle. Right. But here's the thing. If, if Seattle trades for Baker Mayfield, the Browns are going to have a need at quarterback, right? That That's because you can't, you have to go into that locker room and let's, let's make no bones about it. Yeah. No Odell Beckham jr. Jarvis Landry gone, whatever, whatever. 
but the Browns are still a, an incredibly talented roster. And you have to walk in there in training camp and be like, man, we really can get this done with Jacoby Brissett. And then you have to sell that to your players. Whereas if you do get rid of Baker Mayfield, who which they have to at this point, there's no mending that that bridge. That that thing's been blown to smithereens. You you need to bring in somebody with cachet. And you know, it's one thing to see, oh God, Jimmy, like you know, we we're in the thick of it, right? Our eyes are on it all the time. But it, it's kind of like an inverse of the Trey Lance narrative, right? Oh, Trey Lance, he had to sit behind Jimmy Garoppolo, he can't get it done, whatever, 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 right? In the national media, does Jimmy look a little better than he does to our keen eye because we've been watching him game in and game out over and over and over? I think you can sell the locker room more on Jimmy Garoppolo than you can Jacoby Brissett. And Jimmy can use this as, hey, I'm going to get my $24.2 million. I'm going to get the whole thing. I don't have to settle that. I don't have to get cut where I'm not going to get that. I can get my 24 2 and I can use it as an audition for my free agency where then I can choose to go somewhere. And the Browns are a team that's talented enough to hide some of the uh, blemishes that comes with Jimmy Garoppolo as your quarterback. I think that would be the best situation for him at this point, in my honest opinion. Let, let me let me get in there too, because I agree with you, Matt. And I also think if you're Jimmy Garoppolo and his agent, I forget his name, you're sitting there looking at both of these situations. It's, uh, it's Don Yee. Don Yee, there you go, yeah. Um, you're looking at both of these situations and you're thinking, which situation would I be able to not even necessarily thrive in, but just survive in for one year to then maybe I could buy myself another positive year going into a year where I can then become a free agent and then select where I want to go from there. If I get released, whatever the case may be, you know, I don't think Seattle out of the two is going to have the surrounding cast like Matt talked about Cleveland having to make Jimmy Garoppolo look good enough to therefore next offseason go into a team and say, hey, look what I just did. You guys said it was Kyle Shanahan. I didn't have I could only Debo Sam and George Kittle. Well, I did it with the second team. If he goes to Seattle, that's out of the window. That's not going to happen anymore. But if he goes to Cleveland, that's still a possibility. He could still have a good surrounding cast and say, hey, I did this with two separate teams. Now let me get a chance to start for you. Here's what I want, yada, yada, yada. So I agree with you, Matt. And, and, and here's the other thing, too. If Don Yee... And 49ers throw back, thanks for the super bat, $2. Matt, nobody wants to pay Jimmy Garoppolo $27 million. Yeah, but the Browns don't want to go in that locker room and have to try to sell that team on Jacoby Brissett when they can say, here's Jimmy Garoppolo. But um, I'll, I'll let you jump in in a second. For Jimmy Garoppolo, if Don Yee is being honest with his client, Jimmy Garoppolo needs to look at this like he's in Ryan Fitzpatrick territory, where Ryan Fitzpatrick did get paid a contract to be a starter. It didn't work out but he was able to transition it into enough moments to get him that next one-year contract, that next two-year contract. And this is where Jimmy Garoppolo needs to live right now. That's, you know, like the, like the movie Hitch. This is you from here to here. That's it. That's Jimmy Garoppolo. He's Ryan Fitzpatrick 2.0 now, okay? That, that's how he has to look at it. And, yes, maybe that's a hard thing for somebody to swallow, but for Jimmy Garoppolo, it's like, do you want to have a career where you're getting contracts and you have – an opportunity as a bridge guy to get those games that Ryan Fitzpatrick always seemed to get? Or are you going to be a guy that just fades away and nobody wants to sign because you're not willing to do what it takes to keep yourself in the league? That's going to be a conversation between Jimmy and his agent. It's going to be interesting, but I, I still think the Browns are the best spot for him. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to toss the Panthers in, in the ring here as the best spot for him. But even prior to that, though, to, to get back to this, uh, we talked about, uh, the Browns eating some of Mayfield's contract, right? Are the Niners asked to eat any of Jimmy's contract if he's not willing to restructure or renegotiate? And if so, how much are you willing to eat? Because anything that we eat, the rest of it is cap space. Let's be let's be very clear here. The rest of it would be cap space. So what are your guys' thoughts? I saw Matt with the emphatic no. Like, hell, no, like, no because here's the thing. This is all predicated on Seattle trading for Baker Mayfield, right? This is what we're talking about. If Seattle trades for Baker Mayfield, then Jimmy is off the table for Seattle, and the rest of the NFC West is covered in quarterbacks. The 49ers would have no problem just cutting him at that point. There's no incentive to keep Jimmy Garoppolo if you're not worried about him going to a division rival. And I think that Seattle having such a tenuous quarterback room right now, such an underwhelming quarterback room, is the reason why the 49ers are kind of hanging on and, and why this Baker thing gets really interesting if Seattle does trade for him because that allows them the flexibility to 
Because does anybody care if Jimmy goes to the Panthers? They're not a playoff team. They're not very talented. He's not going to do anything there. If he does go to Cleveland, that's in the AFC. You would only see them in the Super Bowl. And if you're in the Super Bowl, then you're in the Super Bowl. And Trey Lance has obviously been a success at that point. You don't care anymore. So with if Baker does go to Seattle, that moves more leverage towards the 49ers to be able to do, maybe not leverage, but flexibility to do what you want with Jimmy Garoppolo and not have to worry about him landing in a spot where he can necessarily hurt you at any given moment. I'll jump in here. Um, free stop Niner, 49ers says, can we stop taking acid and realistically be honest? Jimmy is a cut. Why would we pay one penny to Jimmy? He's still valuable around the NFL, although he might not be valuable enough to start on the 49ers. If he had a reasonable contract, I don't doubt that the 49ers would keep him as a backup because you don't just give those players up, but they cannot afford to keep him while simultaneously transitioning to Trey Lance. Just from an economical standpoint, not even to mention all of the other, you know, locker room issues and all the other signals you're sending. Financially speaking, it wouldn't make sense, but he's still valuable enough for another right. team to be willing to pay. Yeah. Actually, we addressed this in, um, there was an athletic article where um, I think it was Matt Barrows and David Lombardi were going over the 49ers mm -hmm. roster. And I brought it up and I know we talked about this a couple weeks ago and me and Mike were exactly on the same page. But if Jimmy Garoppolo is on the week one roster, that 24.2, it's for the season. That's that's going to be his number. That's his base salary if he's on the roster week one. So they 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 have to make a move before week one if they're going to. So I, I think if he's not tradable, then he's he's going to be cut. We'll see, man. We'll see. It's, it's been crazy. Um, yeah, also the contract they gave to Sudfeld, just that should signal all you need to know how they feel about this quarterback room going into the situation. Um, yeah, hit like you're a Cowboys like fan. argument, though. Because if the argument is some people are saying, well, they can keep Jimmy at 24 or they could cut Jimmy at 24, what's the difference between them keeping Sudfeld at two and cutting him at two? Like, you're, you know what I mean? Like, if they decide to keep Jimmy Garoppolo – Right, and they're comfortable, like they've said, if for whatever reason they're like, all right, well, we can't just give Jimmy away, and they really feel that way, and they keep Jimmy Garoppolo, they can cut Nate Sudfeld and just eat the $2 million. Like, $2 million is nothing in terms of salary cap. If they are deciding, like, you know, if Mike thinks, hey, they're not going to cut him, and it turns out that they don't end up cutting him, and they're going to carry that 24-2, they're not going to keep Sudfeld as the third. I mean, nobody's going to pick him up on the practice squad anyway. We, that's already been shown, so he's just going to He's just going to sit there and get paid $2 million to kind of, you know, just stay ready, I guess. And to that, there was a comment that we clicked on a couple seconds ago, that freak stomp 49er. Uh, that's not true. John Lynch and Kyle have both come out and said that teams were definitely interested, but as soon as he got the surgery, the talks completely halted. Teams were interested, and a healthy Jimmy does have a value in the NFL. I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you guys about my personal thoughts on whether or not he gets cut, but teams are interested a quarterback is hard to find in this league so i promise you that there will be someone interested once he's healthy it's just about the right price right like i would love a mercedes but i'm not going to get a mercedes when i have four kids here and i'm trying to buy a dog that's going to weigh 260 pounds like i i don't have enough to go around you know what i'm saying it's about the the want is one thing and then the the cost and everything else that the details of the deal are what's going to really, really play play the difference. Okay, this made the show. So, Frank, stop 49er. I guess we can't hold you to it because we don't know who you are, but you should definitely hold yourself to that if that happens. We got to find out if this guy has a Twitter. Oh, yeah. We get, yeah. Somebody get on it. Um, All right. No, so, so I agree with you, Mike, in that it is an opportunity cost. And I also agree that there's definitely going to be interest for Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, how long did uh Marcus Mariota sit on the bench in Las Vegas how many years did he do that and he still got paid I think he got a two-year 24 million dollar deal from Atlanta to be their starter um and that's a guy that hasn't played in a couple years and to your point look at how terrible Mitch Trubisky was he sits out for a whole year and all of a sudden people are like oh shit he I'm sorry shoot he's the it's answer fine. over there and and pitch 17 in brother you can cuss it up <laughs> Okay, like in Pittsburgh, like that's your answer. Mitchell Trubisky. I would not be surprised if they were interested in Jimmy 
if he became available. I'm telling you that there is a market for him. If Jimmy I was think, a free agent, how many teams do you honestly think it would be like, hey, yeah, 